Hey YouTube, this is Ezekiel again, and this is the fifth video of over 50 top Cydia apps, tweaks, and mods for your iPhone 4. Uh, yeah, I did change the name because I have more than 50 Cydia apps mods that I would like to share with you guys. And uh, the first one's going to be, I know you've heard this so many times before, but the first one's going to be SP settings. Um, SP settings, uh, it's, it lets you use your, it lets you basically do anything from anywhere except for Cydia. And see, it doesn't let you do anything, um, like, like this, when you're in the city app, of course. Um, but um, like if I want to change the brightness, of course, I could change it. Um, if I want to turn on the Bluetooth, I could change it. If I want a quick calculator, real quick, I could access that through the lock screen. Um, I showed you guys. Uh, I showed you guys remove background in the past video and if you don't want to press and hold the home button or if you don't want to activate it just click on that and it'll remove the background or if you wanna or if you have some some apps that you don't want people to see on your screen board you can hide them here you just go to um to more and then you're gonna go to um dock applications it's gonna load every single one of your dock every single one of your applications even the the blank icons that you have um and you could add them through here and where they go to is they go through here they go to here i mean they go here see i have my why i have some some uh some apps here that that i hide from people because i don't want them to even access them like my why spring jones beta font um that's that's v wallpaper um open ssh and other 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 ones yes even i have that one um that was SB settings, and it also lets you toggle uh, the a flashlight from. So, and that one's called SB settings. The next one is going to be called um, advanced um, preferences, and what that lets you do it lets you have more options to what you you are usually used to. Like, like let me go to the auto lock. See, so I have more options to choose from. And it's not only for the auto lock, but I just get I just put came here to show you guys an example of of um of what advanced preferences lets you do. Um the the next one I have is going to be called CC second lock screen. Um uh, what what it lets you do it lets you access the um well it lets you um be on a on a lock screen for sixty seconds. Usually fifteen I fifty seconds I believe um without it uh going away without it um dimming down to 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 like this but with cc second lock screen it lets you uh um have the lock screen f uh on for cc seconds uh the next one i have is g power pro what g power pro lets you do it lets you uh like like if you press and hold the sleep button you can either slide it to turn off slide it to reboot which is turn on off and turn back on or to respring your respring board respring your spring board um yeah that one's called g power pro uh this next one i have over here it's called uh uh spring jumps i know i showed you guys a page preview like if you put your thumb or or any other finger on your on your spring board lets you change pages but what spring jump lets you do it lets you do the same but um with the blank icon so like if I click on it it's gonna take me back to the first page you can have up to as many as up to eight um, different uh, screen jumps and you can even make them blank so I can make this one blank right now and when I'm on the last page this is my last page if I wanna go back to my first page I just click on it and it takes me back to my first page um, and speaking about page preview and uh, Spring jumps also have what's what's named the uh, overboard. Um, I have it activated, but activated with the spring pinch or a uh, or the other one, this one, and it's, it's basically one of the same ones, but it lets me look and see which page I want to go to. I only have three pages on this theme, and this is the theme where I only have three. The other ones I have two, but if I want to go back to my first one, I just click on the first one. If I want to go to the second, click on the second, or if I want to go to a to the uh to the third one i just uh click on the third one or first to third whatever i want and, and it lets me see the 
the page I would like to go to. That one's called Overboard. Uh, the next one I have, it's called uh, I Mean For All. It's a emulator, which lets you play uh, games on there. It has tons of of games on it, like tons, as you can see right here. It has tons of games. You can even use your Wii Remote to play a game. I'm trying to get into a game, but I haven't played this game in forever. So, I'm not sure what it's doing. But, but it does let you play the games, and this one's called I Mean For All. And if it needs a repo or anything like that, we'll put it in the more info section. Uh, this next one is going to be called a fake clock up. Let me show you a demonstration of how it is, like when I open up an app, how slow it is. Took me f and look up the calendar. That one's pretty quick. Oh, I do have it on. I think I do have um, fake clock up on. Let me see. Let's see. Yeah, I do have it on. I do have fake clock up on. Uh, what it, what it does is it, it lets you open up anything faster than what it usually does. If I didn't have it on, it would be so slow. Uh, let me let me show you how slow it will be. Animation speed by default is one point oh, nope, one point oh, and then I will need to respring it. Respring. If you guys are wondering what that Samsung is, I'll show you guys here in a little bit. Let's see how long it takes to open up the calendar. Not that long. Photos. See, it's taking quite some time, but if you have fake lock up, um, it'll open up way faster than what it, than what it usually does. And I do have loader screens, but even if I didn't have them, it would open up even faster. Um, what I was saying about this, I'm sorry guys, what I was saying about the the Samsung logo, that's my uh my 50 inch plasma TV that my dad gave me. Um, let me connect. My AV cable to I have connected back to the back of the of the of the plasma TV, and um, what it does, what this next app does, it lets you view your iPhone on the TV. As you guys, let me see it. Yeah, that's me. And there it is. That's my that's my phone being displayed on the TV. Um, this app is called Display Out. Let me focus. And um, what it shows on the TV is exactly what's showing on the on the iPhone. So, um, like if I go to YouTube, um, it'll play the the videos that I have on here. Uh, what? Uh, it logged me out. Yeah, log me out. But um, like if I was to go to, like, and watch a video, it'll be on there, and I could even change it. Or like if I wanna go to my messages, and that's, and if I turn it sideways, it'll, it'll follow it. And you can even play games on here like that too. It's pretty sweet. Um, this one was called Display Out, and you do need an AV cable, which is thirty nine bucks, at the Apple Store. But like a week after I bought it, they came out with the HDMI cable. So, um, what you're looking at right now is a standard definition, but it, and right now you can buy HD, so it'll, it'll look even better. And that concludes my fifth video. I will have a sixth and seventh video up soon. So um, so like it and subscribe to me, and I'll uh, see you guys in the next one.